Okay, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, what I want to do is I want to create a basic circuit. Um, you know, a little bit more than the last video that I did, um, just kind of showing a complete project and how it, how it tests. Hi, my name is Craig Bashad. I am the electrical instructor. Uh, thank you for coming back to my video. Um, this is going to be part two of a series of videos that I'm going to do going through using the EcoStructure Stow Machine Basic. Um, you know, if you haven't seen my first video, part one, please definitely go check that out. Uh, you'll understand a little bit more of the functions, but I'm sure you'll be able to pick up from here as well. Uh, but if you haven't seen the first video, please go check out the first video. You know, do me a favor, give me a like, you know, shoot me a comment. That would be great. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do a basic start stop hold today. Uh, controlling a red and a green light. So basically what we're gonna do is just like in basic motor controls, we go through the basic steps and functions on how to wire a push button and a light. Well, with the PLC controller, we kind of have to understand how all that works before we could actually program it for what it's gonna do. So we're just gonna be adding inputs and outputs based on the function that we wanted to do. So just like before, you know, we went through the steps on what a normally open and normally closed light or normally, excuse me, normally open and normally closed button did and what the light and how that reacted and when we tested it, what it did, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to do a basic start, stop, hold project controlling a red and a green light. So meaning when we turn it on, the red light should be on. When we energize the green button or the start button, that should turn off the red light and turn on the green light. This is gonna be a very basic project, but we're gonna go through the saving process so that we can use this project for other videos down the road. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start up here. We're gonna click. We're gonna drag down our normally closed button. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna drag down our normally open button, okay? Then we're going to come over here and we're going to drag, we're going to click our bar, double bar coming down. We're going to click our normally open. We're going to drag it down here and we're going to create our holding circuit. Okay. Oh, where'd it go? Here, why did it? So then, what? Why is it not holding? Now we're going to come over here. We're going to click this. There we go. Okay. So again, guys, keys get a little funky and I've been having issues with my computer today. So I'm not really sure why things are happening like this. So, all right, so let's get back to it. We've kind of looked at this and we can see that we have a normal close button. We have a normally open button running to a coil and then we have our holding circuit, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to set this up with addresses just a little bit different. But what I want to do is I want to go through the complete project layout first. Then what we'll do is we'll go into the tools bar, we'll label everything that we're going to use, and we'll go from there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now that I got my hold, I'm going to create another rung. So it's going to give me another rung here. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to grab my normally closed button. I'm going to drop it down here and I'm going to grab my coil, which is we're just going to use that as a light. Okay. So now I have a normally closed contact controlling what's going to be our light. We're going to add another rung here and we're going to do our normally open. We're going to drag that down and we're going to bring down our coil function as well. Okay. All right. So this is our basic function. We're not doing anything more than this. Um, we're going to go very, very basic. Okay. Like I said, we're going to use this for another project at another time. All right. So we're going to need to address it. We're going to need to call it. So we're going to need a stop button. We're going to need a push button. We're going to need a coil. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need a red light and a green light. Okay. So just like before, quick, re quick, quick uh, review. This push, this push button and this push button here will be our inputs. And these over here will be our outputs, okay? Remember, we have inputs and we have outputs that we're controlling in PLC program. So again, like I said, we're going to come over here, click the toolbar, come down to IO objects. We'll do our digital inputs. And 
All right, our first zero, zero, we're gonna call this stop. Okay, and then, you know, we have the green uh, box around it, so you know we're good. We're gonna come over here to uh, input point one. We're gonna call this start. Okay, got the box. Now, those are the only two inputs that we're gonna use in this circuit, okay? Everything else is gonna be based on an output. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna click apply. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna do the digital outputs. And again, like I said in the first video, you know, th this is, you can either do this first or you could do it afterwards. You can go up here and you can address all this first and then come down here and fill in the labels. Um, or you can fill out the labels and then as you start rolling into addressing your um, components or your points, it'll just pop up what it is, okay? So for me, I'm gonna do it this way where we're gonna call this our coil. We're gonna label everything first. Come down here, zero, one, we're gonna call that our red light. Red light. And we're gonna come down here, we're gonna call this green light. All right, so those are the three outputs we're gonna need. We're gonna hit apply. So now that we've labeled these, I'm just gonna push them down here. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna double click on my address. And when I get my percent symbol, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna press I because this is gonna be my input. Input zero is labeled as my stop, okay? So just like we did, you know, we went through, we, we typed everything in that we wanted and then we can go. Now, do I have to label it? I don't have to label it, but I like to label it because it lets me know what I'm doing, especially when you create multiple projects or you get into very larger projects, you're gonna wanna make sure that you, um, you know, definitely have everything labeled out so that it kind of reminds you when you're going back to it, what you're doing, because maybe you want to modify your project a little bit. Well, if you want to modify your project and you have other things in it, that's also connected to this stop button or start button or whatever input you have, that's going to change the, the way it's going to function. So your best bet is to label it because when you go to change something, if it labels and it keeps popping up the same thing, you know you're gonna to have to go in and change or at least add another input. So we're gonna do the next one. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna do input one because that is gonna be our start button. Okay, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do our first output. So again, remember output stands for Q. We use the Q symbol and our coil is gonna be zero. You can see it set up here. Now, when we energize this coil, we have to hold it, okay? So just like in a basic motor control project, in order to get power to the coil, or excuse me, in order to hold the coil, we have to get constant power to it. So in this case, we're gonna address the hold as the coil, that's gonna be a Q because it's gonna be the same thing, okay? By doing this, it's very simple. We've already got it labeled, we know where it's coming from, okay? Uh, and we don't have to worry about anything. So we press start, boom, the coil is gonna get closed. That's gonna hold. We can uh, depress our, or unpress our start button and it's still gonna carry power all the way through, okay? So we'll come down here. We're gonna click our address here for the first rung. Oh no, there you go. And again, this is another coil just like on our control relay or ice cube relay. We're gonna call this Q as well. This is gonna be our coil. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna label this the next one, which will be Q1 because that's gonna be our red light, okay? So there's our actual first function that we're gonna be hooking up. Our next is gonna be here and we're gonna do Q again, and that's gonna also be our coil because again, we have normally open and normally closed auxiliary contacts on our coil. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna do Q again, and we're gonna call this two because that's gonna be labeled as our green light. Now, again, remember, these are very basic functions, okay? This is a very basic program and this is a very basic setup. This is something that anybody can do 
with the right equipment, but you have to understand the knowledge on wiring it, okay? Uh, we are gonna create these projects to save them so that we can do, uh, we can actually wire these projects and actually have them function in other videos. So this video here, again, like I said before, is all about creating a basic project, saving that basic project so we can use it again. But we also wanna go through the process of using the simulator to make sure it works, okay? So now that we've all gone through this, we've had our check marks. We know everything is good here, everything is true. We have no errors. So the first thing we wanna do is what? We wanna test it. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna launch the simulator. Again, just bear with me guys a little bit. Get all this stuff opened up. Uh oh. Why is the simulator not answering? We have green lights. Interesting. Let's try it again. There it is. See guys, every now and then you're gonna have a little issues, okay? And always remember, no matter what, even professionals have issues. So the thing that you have to remember is be patient, try it again, and then move forward. And you can see I've done absolutely nothing. I'm running this video straight through in real time so you can see the issues or things that we're dealing with, okay? All right, so from the last video, we have the flashing run. We have to go up here and we have to launch the simulator by starting the controller by hitting play. Yes, we wanna hit play once we get that solid run. Now you can see that my stop buttons are closed, okay? My contact is closed and my red light is on, all right? So when I go and hit my start button, okay, which is gonna be input one, I'm going to hover over one and I'm going to click it. When I click it, my coil gets energized. It gets held. The normally closed and red light goes off and the green light comes on and the other normally open contact closes. Okay. So at this point here, if I wanted to shut this down, I can press my zero key and it goes right back to where it was because what did i do i pressed my stop button see in a basic motor control project start stop okay what we're doing is we're just pressing the red button or we're pressing the green button green button is going to energize now remember with motor controls you're dealing with inputs okay so we actually have to turn off or press it again in order to get that input to close okay or, or excuse me open because it's gonna be held in that closed state. So if I wanted to re-energize this again, I would have to click zero, okay? Which now would close my contact, allowing me to work again. I can come back over here, press one. I'm gonna close it. My close goes off, my lights flicker, and here we go, all right? All right, so now I know my project works. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hit stop. Yes, I want to stop the controller. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn off my controller. Okay, and now I want to come up here to the save. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down. I'm going to say save as project. Yes, I want to save it as a project. So I'm going to click it. And it's going to open up your computer browser. And again, if you're on a laptop or, um, you know, a desktop, you know, you could definitely save this. I'm going to backspace this. I'm going to call this PLC. PLC project. Okay, and I'm going to save it. And now it will be here. So as soon as it saves, you can see up here, it says PLC project one. 
this is going to be the basic project. And when we get to that point where I, where I start building the videos out, where we wire up the units, we're going to show how to wire up the units. So, you know, for the first four, five, six, seven videos, it's going to be programming, talking, how to use the different components. Again, this video is just an extension of the last video. So what I want you to understand is, yes, you probably heard this stuff, but the more repetition you get with it, the more you'll understand how to do it. Okay. Um, I hope this video helped at least get you to the point where you understand how to create a full project and how to save it. Okay. Again, most of these projects I'm making for students who have missed class or just, you know, may have things going on. So a lot of times students like to go back to my videos and watch them and just kind of, you know, reiterate what we've already done because a lot of times it doesn't really, you know, click or sometimes we go a little bit faster than normal. So it's nice to have this, this video here for them. So, you know, those of you guys who are out there that are already doing stuff like this or a little bit more advanced, sorry for the basic tutorial video. Um, but again, you know what? I think we all can use a little refresher on certain things. Now, this is again, a Schneider piece of equipment. Um, you know, Alan Bradley and, you know, things of that, you know, other companies like that, they have their own programs. And eventually if things start to work out and we, and I can get my hands on some of those stuff, I don't really know how much they have for free, um, basic, you know, software, but if anybody has any knowledge of any free type of software, please do me a favor, leave me a comment down below this way here, you know, we can start expanding um, our knowledge into PLCs and things of that nature. So, um, you know, I, I hope this video really turned out to give you an, another understanding of what we're doing. Um, I believe I said it before, you know, my name is Craig Mashad. I am the electrical instructor. And if you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor, you know, click that button, subscribe, click the notification. I'm trying to get more videos out. So, um, you know, just click the button, let it know. I have a whole bunch of videos on all kinds of different things. Um, you know, I'll be getting back into doing more code stuff as well. So if you're interested, give me a like. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and stay safe.